What is going on guys? We finally have some news for WWE Supercard Season 7 and that is what we're going to talk about today. I'm definitely very curious to hear your reactions to the news so far. What do you think about everything that's coming? What do you think about all of the changes? I'm sure a lot of people have seen a lot of this stuff already. Especially since uh, Super Zomba Barbecue did make a video about all of it. And I did watch that too. And he does have a lot of like uh, really good screenshots too. So if you uh, certainly want to check that out, I'm sure you know where to find it. But uh, I'll throw that in there. Talk about the things I saw in the video. Talk about the things in this blog post. Let you know my thoughts and I don't know and see what's going to happen. What's going to change? Is it going to be better for the game for Season 7 coming this November? I also did watch another video. I think it was yesterday, maybe the day before by Up Up Down Down that had uh, a bunch of new cards in there as well. Like especially the 2K Battleground cards. Which uh, look pretty cool. But anyways, let's get into those blog posts. Today, 2K announced Season 7 of WWE Supercard, the newest addition to the Action Pack Collectible Battle Card Battling Game. It is scheduled to launch November 2020. Now, hopefully you know what day it is today. It is October something 28th and yeah i had to check my calendar but uh which means that november is just a couple days away which means this is going to be here really soon featuring greater flexibility in playstyles, increased strategic depths three new card tiers a huge roster wdb superstar legends hall of famers all new ways to earn and battle with players around the world. WWE Supercard will continue raising the bar for competitive and engaging WWE action in a unique format. Uh, 2,000 cards in every in active play. Uh, WWE Supercard encourages players to build teams of superstars and legends, train them to their full potential, battle on various match types and test their skill and fast-paced tournament action. Players can enhance the free-to-play experience by acquiring new card packs okay so uh that's our little intro uh some of the things that it says that season seven will include styles and techniques plan strategic deck building decisions with new styles a new attribute uh a new attribute on season seven cards based on superstars real world in ring personas each style attribute will gain access to technique given a powerful advantage greatly affect the matchup now uh that's kind of where i was thinking the super moves were going to come along and that is what their i guess their next building point build up a devastating maneuver with unique animations across any mode and unleash at uh, will to provide advantages against a tough opponent so in the middle of your match you build up this meter i guess and then if you come across a card that maybe is a little bit stronger or uh maybe just uh you don't want to take the chance whether or not they activate who knows this will maybe take the place of activations because personally for me i absolutely hate activations of the cards um that 42 percent chance that you are going to get it and 42 percent chance that your uh the ai is gonna get it mm -hmm. um i absolutely hated that in this game in uh my nba 2k when they have the activation stuff absolutely hated it but we'll have to see how super moves actually works and how it's applied what game modes you can actually use it in i think i remember it I think I remember something about in the video that uh, certain game modes that you weren't going to be able to use it for and obviously just the regular uh, game modes like, I don't know, War or Royal Rumble or Elimination Chamber that you would be able to do it. But uh, all new card tiers. Access three new card tiers for a co and complete compete for 200 cards. Okay, well, of course we're going to get new card tiers. Definitely interested to see the designs and all of that stuff, which comes across a, uh, I did see in there, the stat crunch in the video. Now they're going to take all of the stats, squish them down, and it looked like, I think if I'm remembering this right, uh, all the ones that were 3.2, um, 3.3 million right now uh on the summer 20s got brought down to like 350,000 or something like that so 
it was uh i don't know like 10 percent of whatever it is now so pretty big stat crunch along the way and of course with a new season i'm sure that they're gonna take uh the bottom three tiers and kind of like toss them away and maybe make what would be the bottom one shattered now i guess that you would pull regularly on the draft board and all the other ones will be like um you know stuff that you can collect in certain special things but no longer available on the draft board type of thing all new game modes play any game mode you want whenever you want with a unified access to the draft board featuring modes to offer bonus rewards and encourage competition now this uh seems really nice so all of the game modes that we have currently that we go through that rotation uh war elimination chamber men's and women's royal rumble men's and women's all of that type of stuff you can now play any of those game modes that you want so if you have a bunch of females that you really want to train up then you can just focus on women's royal rumble or women's elimination chamber or maybe you have just a bunch of males that you want to do do that or maybe there's just one particular game mode that you really really like and you get the most draft picks uh you can get the most done and you can just play that sounds like a good addition i do like that art refresh enjoy a comprehensive art refresh will touch nearly every menu with a modern and sleek new look motion graphics with highlight key information provides increased excitement and clarity now uh one of the good things i guess especially the way that the video started for his was that uh all new calendar right the calendar looked nice on the calendar it showed you that every thursday uh what event was starting every single week for the entire month and during that uh, or like throughout the calendar it would have certain uh specific days that highlighted maybe some type of special event or maybe some type of thing in which if you were there and collected that day maybe you got a bonus or uh something like that so the calendar definitely looks much better i could certainly uh i could certainly use that because i always forget what event is coming next i especially when it comes to um regular pvp game modes you know when is war wins wins royal rumble i always forget now that they're all going to be available at any time that's not going to matter but at least with the main game modes it will matter and the calendar will be there to show you which mode is coming which week i like it collections earn rewards for completing dynamic collections limited time events will feature new collections regularly um this is definitely one of the things that i have questions about especially being from the video that i saw uh and uh, one of the things that i really always bothered me about this game and about my nba right this is a card collecting game in which uh, has thousands and thousands of cards you have tons of special cards you have tons of different types of cards and uh, you know i'm not saying that maybe you want to collect every single one of them that might be a little bit too extreme but uh the card limit has always been an issue with me always probably been an issue with a lot of people you know you want to collect a lot of things like i don't know maybe you like all the special cards and you have want to collect all the halloween all the fall all the all the winter all of the christmas you know you want to collect all those all the easter cards if you collected all of those and you wanted to pro all of those and keep all those in your catalog then well that's pretty much you hit the limit and that doesn't even include that maybe you want to collect your favorite wrestlers or maybe you want to collect nxt only or i don't know just a lot of different possibilities but with the amount of cards that are in the game and the amount that you can only collect in your catalog or in your inventory uh, it really limits you right and that's one of the things that always frustrated me like why do we have such a limit on how many guards we can collect is it really a problem that we save cards like what is it about the fact that we have to that, that we have cards in our inventory is it like just the amount of data that it takes up on their server end if that's the case then increase the server size or something like like i don't know and um another thing that i saw in the video as well was that kind of i guess not really made a concern for me but i kind of hoped would be different 
from what I saw was is if you collected like uh, six or more, however many it was on there, but six elementals or 12 elementals, you got a SummerSlam 20. Now from what I saw, from what it looked like, is they were just regular cards. So if you were to collect six or 12 SummerSlam 20s, then, um, and you completed that collection, then you would get a reward, which is just one tier up of just a regular card. Now, um, I was kind of hoping, I like the idea for collections for one, but I would rather it be a unique card, right? Let's say you collect every single elemental. So give us something unique. Don't just give us like a regular SummerSlam 20. Don't just give us some regular card that is just in the catalog. Like if you're gonna make it a goal and an objective and something that we have to work for and complete, then give us something good in return instead of some like crappy regular card. That's just, I guess, the only hope that I have. Maybe if they wanna rotate the ones that they're talking about, how they have the dynamic collections where it is just collect six specific ones. And it, even then, actually, you know what? Even that, I don't, I don't even, I'm not even gonna like because uh, we've had tons of quests, tons of quests in which we've had to collect specific wrestlers, specific superstars, and you don't pull those things on the board. Like they're really hard to pull. They limit that their algorithm. They put it in there. They code it all evil where uh, you don't get that stuff pulled on the draft board and which promotes you to buy packs, spend money, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So I'm all for the ones that are all about um, collecting the entire catalog, all the elementals, all of the SummerSlam 20s, and I guess even if they do rotate it, you know, with specific ones, but at least make the rewards something worth getting instead of just a regular one. War Games event. From what I understand, lots of people are going to be excited about this. I know that uh, from, you know, I'll take his word for it that a lot of people wanted it. So, uh, Battle for Control, multiple rings and earn points by holding and location in an all new type coming soon. So, you would like uh, pick your deck and you would battle, and this hopefully will replace something uh one of the events that we always hate so um i don't know um we'll have to s certainly get more information on it and see what it looks like and uh, but i'm all for new events i'm all for new things i even though that the last couple events new events that they've implemented into the game have been complete busts, complete fails and absolutely have not liked them hated them i will have to give them you know props for trying I will have to give them, you know, uh, they did attempt and make and come up with a new game mode and tried to implement it into the game. And so even though to me, I hated them and they didn't work for me, um, I do appreciate them trying. And so all new game modes, I will certainly go for. Look forward to numerous quality life improvements, daily login 2.0, timed promotions, and more. It's a whole lot. It's a whole lot to talk about. It's a whole lot to look at. A whole lot to think about. And I know at least, you know, currently, there's a lot of people that feel that Supercard has gotten stale. It's the same thing over and over and over, you know, rinse and repeat, etc. Do y'all think that this is going to change it up? Do you think it's going to matter? Do you think that, that what they're doing is going to make a difference and make this game more exciting? You know, they are adding certain things that I do like, and there are certain things about the game that I don't think they're changing enough to make it fun. You know, um, of course, there are certain things that I really like about how you can play PvP anytime you want, whenever you want, whatever game mode you want. But it's still PvP. Like, what about it are they changing that's going to make it exciting? Just for the simple fact that you can play any game mode at any time you want. That doesn't really matter to me. I mean, it matters to me in the sense that I don't have to play the game modes I don't like. But then I'm still playing the same game mode. 
I do like how the store is consolidated. Uh, they did say, I remember now that I think about it, super coins where they're going to take contracts. They're going to take PvP. They're going to combine all of those uh, into one currency, into one store, which seems kind of cool. I was going to use all my contracts to open up tickets and all that stuff. I don't know if I'm going to do that now. I might save them. But uh, I don't know. Maybe my packs too, actually, now that I think about it. My tickets. I wonder if that's going to be consolidated as well. Like, imagine, just think about this. Think about this. Let's say the, let's say they consolidate tickets and contracts, right? Now, if it was one for one, one super coin for every ticket, one super coin for every contract and consolidated that, I tell you what, I would be, uh, I would absolutely be super pissed. Because of the fact that, well, tickets, you can open up a pack with just 25 tickets. Contracts with 25 contracts, you can't do shit with. So, um, I don't know. I mean, I would be, I would be hoping, I'm hoping that they're going to tell us, you know, how much each of the currencies is going to transfer to super coins comparative to other currencies in the game so we can make a decision whether or not we want to open and use that currency before season seven starts you know what i'm saying i mean i got 200 tickets like if the if the transfer rate is one one for one i'm definitely going to open all of my tickets and use them now why wouldn't i i need to get some packs i need to get some cards all that stuff uh contracts i'm not worried about because that's the biggest currency the probably a lot of the currency that most people have i guess with um lp maybe um maybe battleground points i would say that probably battleground points is probably the most that people have and there's never anything good in that store so it's not going to really matter tickets same thing you get so many of them but the other ones the pvp points and the tickets i don't know maybe you should open them before the season seven starts because the transfer rate might be terrible. I Hopefully we know that. But anyways, guys, y'all have to let me know in the comments. What do you think about all this stuff? What do you think about all the new information? What did you think about Super Zomba Barbecue's video and everything that they put out and he put out and all of the screenshots that they did because a lot of those, you know, a lot of the layouts, the formats, uh, the adjustments, the calendars, all of that stuff uh, to the game look good, but... Is it going to make a difference to the actual overall gameplay? Is it going to make the game exciting? I like the collection thing. Fantastic as well. But are they going to add specific unique cards as rewards? Because if it's not, I'm not even going to care to do the completions. Like why would I, am I going to care about completing something in which I could just pull off the draft board? Like that's not going to matter to me. Like I like how they're trying to make stars valuable it means something but it's still not going to mean anything at least to me unless the card that you get is worth something to me and if it's just a regular card it's not gonna be worth shit so uh yeah that's gonna do it for the video it says there's gonna be a new blog coming soon to give out more details and stuff like that so we'll be on the lookout for that today is wild wednesday i gotta get to work on working on that and uh, of course we have a new event coming tomorrow which you know gotta get working on that too anyways uh hopefully you did enjoy let me know your thoughts below and i will see everybody again soon y'all take it easy have a good wednesday i'm out peace